Hi, welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course, and in this module, we'll be looking at the filter by list visual. Now, as the name implies, it is a filter. This filter, though, allows you to very easily copy and paste in a list of values. So let's say, for example, you have an Excel spreadsheet where you have a list of products that you want to filter on. You could easily copy and paste that list of values into this visual, and it'll filter every item on the report based on what you pasted in. Uh, it actually has a nice capability to compact itself as well. You'll notice whenever we look at it inside of the Power BI desktop that once we paste in the values we want to filter, we can condense the size of it, and then it's very nicely compacted and it doesn't take up too much space. So there's some nice capabilities there we'll look at here in a few moments. So that's really it as far as a quick overview of it. It's as simple as copy and paste a list of values into the list. It can be a comma separated list, or it can be a list that has a carriage return after each line. That is up to you. You can actually specify how you want to bring those values in. So let's go ahead and walk you through how to use the filter by list visual in this demonstration. All right, so in this example, we're going to be looking at a list of product sales by year and month. And so to look at this, we're going to go up to the Get Data section, and we're going to pull in an Excel workbook. And the workbook that we're going to be using is this one here called Sales by Product. And I'll go ahead and open that and bring that into my Power BI data model. There's one spreadsheet inside of this Excel workbook called Product Sales. I'll go ahead and select that one. And we're going to bring in everything from what you see on the right-hand side here. So I'll go ahead and hit Load to bring that in. And once this loads into our data model, we'll be able to see a list of all the fields on the right-hand side. Now, I'm going to start by actually creating a few visuals out of the ordinary or regular visuals that are already available to you inside the Power BI desktop. So we're going to start by maybe creating a line chart here. And so I'd like to see this uh, line chart show the sales amount. And maybe I want to see the sales amount by year. And we can make this a little larger, maybe move it over here, something like that. And then I'd also like to see in here maybe perhaps a column chart. So let's bring in a column chart this time. And this column chart, what I'd like to see is the sales category or subcategory. And I'd like to see the sales amount by subcategory. And we'll make this come over here, make it a little larger again so we can get a good view of it. All right, so I made these kind of intentionally large because I want to show you the fact that the filter by list can be con condensed quite nicely once you're done applying your filter. And so what we're going to do here first is we're going to go bring in the filter by list custom visual, which you can find by going up to the custom visual store up on the top here. And we're going to select our type in filter by list. And then you can see here that there is an option to provide bulk filter values on a report. We want to use that filter by list option and hit add. Now it's going to add that custom visual here on the right hand side in the visualizations pane. We can go ahead and select that to bring that into our report. And all we have to do, really the only setting we have in here is to apply and tell it which field do we want to filter on. So you'll see there is a category filter field on the right hand side. We're going to tell it that we want to filter in this scenario underneath subcategory or by subcategory. And you can see it gives you a little sample of what kinds of filters can be applied. You can either give it a comma separated list, or you can give it a list of items that have been, uh, has a carriage return after each line. Now, one kind of downside of this that I have found is that if your product name, maybe you're using product name, for example, and if your product name actually has a comma in it, that could cause an issue here because it's looking for a comma to be a separator between each of the values. So if your item you're trying to filter on actually has a comma in it, that could cause a little issue here that I found as I was actually playing around with this with the data set we're using. So what we're going to do, though, is I'm going to show you two different ways you can work with this. And one of the you know, nice ways is I, I'm going to bring in this little spreadsheet I have and show you, hey, I have a list of values right here, lines one through seven. I have this list of values, and I want to filter on all of those. Rather than typing all of those values in, I could simply copy and paste, control C here. Let me make sure I got that. And I could paste that in our filter. And if I put that into our filter by list and hit the little filter icon right here, you'll notice that it immediately filters our report to only those subcategories that we've typed in or that we pasted in. You could, of course, then consolidate this down. This is the nice part about the filter by list. You can consolidate this down until it just simply shows an icon here, which is a nice way to let people know there is a filter here. And if they want to look at it, they need to kind of expand to see what items are being filtered. The other thing you could do as well is you could have a table in here that just list out the subcategories so folks can actually see what it is that you are filtering on. So that's kind of a nice way to be able to interact with this. Now you can also, like I said, you can also filter based on a comma separated list. And so the other example of this is I could take this comma separated list I have right here that has mountain bikes comma, road bikes comma, touring bikes comma. I could take that list, overwrite what I have here now, 
and hit uh, filter, and now it'll filter based on my comma separator list as opposed to my carriage return list that we had a moment ago. There it goes. So you can see those diff couple different ways you can apply filters in here. It's a nice little way to filter your report, especially if you know that you're oftentimes looking at a list somewhere else and you just want to copy and paste those values in. This gives you a nice way to be able to do that, either as a comma separator list or as a list that has a carriage return after each line. There are no uh, actual settings or, or customizations that you can make specific to the filter by list. If you go to the format paintbrush over here, you'll see these are the same settings that appear in every one of the custom visuals. So there's not really anything that you can do specifically for the filter by list. Although you might want to add a border around it. If you want to add some aesthetics, you can do that. Maybe you want to give it a title. You could certainly do that. So there's some, a few things in here that you can play around with, but likely it's a very simple visual that you don't have to do a lot to, and it'll be very easy to configure because all you have to do really is drop in the item that you want to filter on. So that's really it for the filter by list in this module. I look forward to showing you our next custom visual and our next module.